University of Missouri Healthcare knows you've got better places to be than in a hospital. That's where our world-class technology and highly skilled medical team come in. We get you home sooner. That's important to you and those who wait for you. Welcome to Radio Friends on this Thursday, June the 14th. We're, we're going to talk about Juneteenth coming up here in just a couple of minutes. But first, uh, with, a, with an old friend of mine, we go back many, many years. Glover Brown is with us. But no, first of all, we're going to start with Margaret Tollerton, who is an old friend of mine also. Thank you. I'm glad uh, you added that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But, but you're not old. We've Bless just been your heart. Friends. We've been I wear age and gray proudly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. but, uh, Margaret is here at Missouri Cures, and today you wanted to talk about some breakthroughs, right? I did. Usually when you're gracious enough to have me on your show, I talk about events or, you know, some upcoming um, thing happening. And this time I thought I would concentrate on just breakthroughs that have been, and you probably know of them because you follow us on Facebook. Um, we do try and list. We get breakthroughs. Um, I receive daily newspaper clippings from around the world, and from those clippings just today, I printed out so mm -hmm. I could just give well, a sample. Well, several months ago, there were some breakthroughs with macular uh, de yes. degeneration. Yes, and um, that human clinical trial is still going on. Um, the stage one of any of the human clinical trials represents the period of time where the um, people have to prove that it's safe. And so far, during that macular degeneration human clinical trial, um, it's not only proved safe, but the recipients of the stem cell treatments are claiming that they have improved vision. Mm -hmm. So that's good. Um, another one is the breakthrough with um, spinal cord injury. And they um, have done um, stem cell transplantation with early spinal cord injury. And um, the individual that is um, mentioned in this particular article that came out today is a 21-year-old nursing student that was paralyzed from the waist down. And um, they treated him with human embryonic stem cells and his he has reported now again it's just in the early stages but he's reported um, sensations such as where paralysis apparently you have absolutely no feeling no he has therefore some... no motion or anything but feeling he could actually feel um, pulling hair on his leg mm -hmm. which is huge for people who don't feel anything how many how many different breakthroughs since you have been involved with the organization have you witnessed? Oh, have I read about? Yeah. Um, oh, you know, I'd say an average of 20 a day, every day. Tw that's not an exaggeration. No, no. No, that's not an exaggeration. Now, wh wh where is a website that people can go that they can learn more about this? Our website is www.missourycures.org. Mm -hmm. We also have a Facebook page, Missouri Cures. Mm -hmm. um, we also have uh, social media um, with Facebook and LinkedIn and Twitter. and. Okay, my... so you're all over the place, but you can go to MissouriCures.org and you can read all about this. Right, and stay up with it. Okay. You know, what's really, really fascinating to me is as I've been forced to learn social media. And luckily with social media, all those things, those products come with a manual. Yeah. Stem cell research doesn't come with a manual. They are writing the manual as, as they go. go. And it's all minute. It's yeah. all like nanotechnology. But every single breakthrough, because of the internet, once the scientists are published, then the next scientist across right. the world right. it's amazing. gets those. And so, so check into it. Thank check you. Into it. 
Margaret Tollerton, I know you could go on for a half an hour to an hour and never it's run exciting. out. It's exciting. I know. It, it is. It's good to have you here. But I can turn now to my, my old friend, my other old friend. Thank you. Over here. <laughs> Glover Brown. Good to see you again, Good Glover. to see you again. Thanks yeah. for having us. And uh, you're here to talk about Juneteenth, which is taking place in Jefferson City this weekend. Yes. and it, run along a guest. I'd like to introduce Mr. W.T. Edmondson, who is the president of the Juneteenth Jefferson City Organization. Well, good to have you here. Well, good to have you. So you. tell me, what is happening? Starting tomorrow, right? Well, it's going to be a fun-filled weekend of uh, festivities. Uh, we have the Emancipation Day program, which is going to be Friday. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we have... Which is tomorrow. Tomorrow. That's hard to believe it's tomorrow <laughs> already. Time is moving fast. Yeah, it is. Isn't it? Uh, and uh, our guest speaker that day would be the Honorable Mayor of Jefferson City, uh, Eric Strump. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we have uh, Mr. Shipley, who was a Tuskegee Airman, who's going to come and speak that day. Now, so, where where will this be? This is going to be on the University Memorial Plaza uh, on Chestnut, across from the Student Union. Okay, in Jefferson in City. In Jefferson City. And how long will that event uh, last? Um, it's about an hour, hour program. At, at what time? Uh, it starts at about 5.30. In the uh, evening. Uh, in the evening. So, from, so block out 5.30 to 6.30. Yeah, yeah. And from there, uh, we will have a Little Mr. Little Miss Juneteenth pageant uh, immediately following uh, the emancipation program that okay. evening. And that okay. starts at 7 o'clock. Okay. So what happens with the Little Mr. and Miss Juneteenth? Well, uh, kids from age 4 through 9 uh, basically compete to be named mm -hmm. Little Mr. And Little Miss Juneteenth. And what do they? How do they compete? What do they do? Well, basically, ask, answer a few questions. Okay, they're know. not singing and dancing. No, they don't have to. You know, show all that talent. Just, <laughs> just, just answer a few questions. <laughs> okay, so that will be. <laughs> I like that. That'll be tomorrow, starting at five thirty in the evening in Jefferson City. Right. Tomorrow on Friday, June fifteenth, and then Saturday, June sixteenth. What happens? That's going to be the big day. That's the uh, Heritage Festival. Uh, and it's going to start that morning at, I believe, around 11 or 11.30. And it's going to run all day till 6 o'clock that evening. Uh, we're going to have a uh, main stage. And on the main stage, we're going to have um, Juneteenth Got Talent. Okay. And this is, uh, we had a talent auditions. And uh, these are the people who passed the auditions. And they're going to be competing for prizes in the talent competition. Okay. Uh, then we're going to have... Uh, uh, live entertainment uh, from a, of all things, a ventriloquist. And uh, then we're going to have uh, a dance troupe. Okay. Uh, I won't be performing there this uh, year. Well, well, <laughs> I'm a good singer. A good singer. Uh, but, there, but there's events going on all day long. All day. Yeah. It's going to be food, uh, activities, uh, things for the young kids to play, things for the adults to have just a good family-oriented afternoon. Uh, okay. So that and then the location there on Saturday, same place? No, that, no, that, will, that will take place at 608. East Dunklin Street. 608 East Dunklin Street. Right. Is there a phone number and we're out of time here? People yeah. can call for more information. Right. 893-4191. And Glover was being, being modest. He's going to perform Saturday night. Okay. Uh, he's well, going to you, perform Saturday night. You're going to sing, right? Yeah. Okay. We're bringing a guy out of, out of Kansas City. All right. Lonnie Good. McFadden. Good. Got it. Thank you very much, Glover, and good seeing you again. Same here. All right. Tomorrow, a Talking Hearts Productions and Olivet Christian Church Barbecue, our program directed by Travis McMillan, Reynolds Journalism Institute, audio is Pat Akers, KBIA, our floor director, Danny Madison, assistant producer and guest coordinator, Uncle James Mouser. Bye-bye.